Hi, I'm Anthony Walt Thompson. Welcome to my kitchen. Chop it up a little bit, pop it in there, and then go in the chocolate. Roughly 18 to 20 minutes. Over the top. Good recipe to get the kids involved. Yeah, pretty easy, isn't it? Nice and smooth. Perfect. Today, I'm going to be using this delicious dessert recipe using a slender, low calorie sweetener as an alternative to sugar. Perfect for anyone with an incurably sweet tooth but wanting to have a healthier diet. Now, panettone and clementine bread and butter pudding is my twist on a much-loved classic. Made from Italian panettone or a rich fruit bread and sliced clementines, it's a truly delicious pudding that's really easy to prepare. So the first thing to do is actually look at our ingredients. This is panettone, which is like an Italian sort of Christmas bread, cake, pudding, whatever you want to say. It's available all year round now. So you can get it any time of year, no problem. We've got that sliced up. We've got some vanilla extract. We've got a little bit of butter, some nutmeg, some clementines. You can use oranges, no more probably too big. We've got some cream. We've got some milk, semi-skim milk. We'll keep the fat down a little bit. Some eggs. And of course, we've got some cheddar cheese. So let's start cooking. And take the panettone, which we've just sliced up. Now, I say it's available all the year round now, but if you can't get it, just an ordinary fruit cake will do, or, or a fruit bread will do, it's fine. And use your imagination. A little bit of butter, I, I do like a little bit of butter, that's the sort of man I am. That's how I keep my figure. Here we go. Just scraping, really. We've put in about 40 grams, it's about an ounce and a half. You might want to use a little bit less if you want to. Okay. Now it's a case of really putting it together. So we're just going to put in the triangles here. Now if you want to make the slices thinner, please feel free. But I'm trying to make the uh, recipe as quick as I can for you. And then we've got our, our clementine slices, which you can just jot around, pop them in amongst the bread. That's all ready for our cream and egg mixture. <coughs> Just going to break in the three eggs. Just a bowl like that. A little a bit of cream, single cream. Like that, about a quarter of a pint, 150 mils. Just beat that up so the eggs don't have any viscosity at all. It's all Nice and smooth. Add a little bit of vanilla extract, about a teaspoon or so. That, and then the milk. Uh, and of course, there's one vital ingredient that's missing, and that's the splendor. And we're just going to use three tablespoons. And that is all ready. That's it now. We're just going to pour that over our panettone and mandarins. And the trick always with bread and butter pudding is to let it soak up. So all that is floating at the moment, but if you leave it half an hour, that will have soaked into the cake and it will make it, when it cooks, it will become really light and sort of souffle, okay? So a little bit of nutmeg goes over the top of that, and that is literally that. Just pop that aside there and let it rest. Okay, it's had its 30 minutes resting time. Just remove the cling film and just pop, pop it in the oven. It's 180 degrees centigrade for about 30 minutes until that custard is nicely set up. Time for a cup of tea. Okay, tea time over. Time to see the finished result. A lovely panettone bread and butter pudding. Look at that. Bubbling away, it's souffléed up beautifully. That is a fab pudding, I think. That'll be time for a nice little wedge, I think. Beautiful. Yeah, just let that cool a little bit. 
All that remains is for me to taste the fruits of my labor. It's hot, but it's gorgeous. So for more delicious recipes using Splendor Low Calorie Sweetener, visit www.splendor.co.uk. And you can see this and many more recipes in my new book, The Sweet Life, 101 Indulgent Recipes.